When you're running any hospitality business and having guests all over the world, it's important to display accommodation prices in the local currency of your guests. So how will you switch currencies on your site automatically according to the visitor's preference? From now on, you can use the help of the Hotel Booking multi-currency add-on to incorporate this feature into your rental property website. In this video, I'm going to present our new Hotel Booking Currency Switcher extension that will help you enhance customer experience while renting out. I'll take you through the main settings of the add-on and show you how to put a currency switcher to visible areas of your website and enable travelers to recalculate accommodation prices in a few clicks. My name is Valerie and you're watching the Motopress YouTube channel and if you're ready, let's get started immediately. First off, the main requirements. Make sure that you use the Hotel Booking plugin version 3.9.14 or greater. The Motopress Hotel Booking multi-currency add-on also requires PHP version 7.1. Well, for a start, download a zip archive with the Hotel Booking multi-currency add-on files. Install the plugin from your WordPress dashboard via Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Install Now. Activate the plugin. Once the add-on is installed and activated, navigate to Accommodation, Settings, Extension tab, choose Multi-Currency add-on. Make sure to activate the license as well. There are two sections where you can choose where to place your menu and where you can set the currency exchange rates. First thing we shall now proceed is a currency exchange rates menu. This menu is meant to add preferable currencies and manually set their exchange rates. The first currency shows up by default as it is determined in the Hotel Booking plugin settings. And it is principal. Its value is set to 1. The rest of the currencies will be converted in relation to it. To add more currencies to the list, push the Add Currency Rate button and select a currency from the list. Designate the symbol position, the number of decimals, and set the exchange rate. Repeat the procedure as many times as you need using the same button. In this initial release, you can't source automated exchange rate data, so because of this limitation, you might need to keep an eye on the rate values and update rates from the dashboard from time to time. We hope to make this process rather more automated in the future. Next. Choose the place where the switcher must be shown. Click Add More Currency Switcher. Now you can see menu locations sourced from your theme settings. Please take into account that different themes have different navigation menus at different locations. When you choose the menu to display the switcher, decide whether it must be displayed as the first or last item. You can also make it a drop-down menu or place each currency as a separate menu item so that they are all visible at once. Remember to save changes. Additionally, if you want to put this widget into any widget zone your WordPress theme supports, you can do that by visiting the Appearance menu widgets. Find the Hotel Booking multi-currency widget listed under Available Widgets and drag it to one of the widget zones available in your theme. Type the title and save. Needless to say, you can put this WordPress multi-currency switcher into both the menu and widgets locations. So, let me give you a few examples of where you can place the WordPress currency switcher plugin. For this, I'll be using different hotel booking templates. All the links with the demos of the themes will be in the description box. 
Booklium is a rental WordPress theme that has five plus unique website layouts you can choose from for hotel, villas, hostel, bed and breakfast, and apartment. For example, with the skin for the hostel, you can easily put currencies as the first separate items in the navigation menu. There will be enough space for them. Of course, if the number is not too big. Otherwise, choose the drop-down option. Nicely composed and very richly equipped Villagio WordPress hotel template will be of help to any property owner who displays accommodations online. For example, you can add the currency converter to the navigation menu in the header to enable travelers to switch currencies to local ones. Currencies as one menu item with a drop-down will definitely look harmonious. The default front page of the Mountain View template features a sidebar where you can put different widgets to provide helpful, instantly accessible information to the website visitors. For example, the search availability form for booking a unit directly, weather forecast widget, photo gallery, video, or whatever you consider suitable. The multi-currency widget will be a perfect match for this sidebar, don't you agree? One more widget can be added to the navigation menu, of course. It seems to be suitable as well. Additionally, you can place the switcher widget right under the search availability form like I did on the front page of the Siestra template. You are free to choose where to display your widget in the widget section or site navigation menus. The multi-currency tool will inherit styling from your WordPress theme no matter which location you choose. It's as simple as it sounds. Travelers choose the needed currency. The accommodation prices are calculated instantly on an automatic page reload. And if you want to somehow distinguish the menu items from the WordPress currency switcher, you can try to utilize the Mega Menu plugin for improving navigation menus. Right now, let's book an accommodation together to see what happens on the checkout page. As you may notice, on the checkout page, all the charges in the price breakdown table, even the total amount, are shown in the selected currency. Right before the guest clicks to pay by choosing the payment method available on your site, they see a notice showing which currency will be used in the transaction if it is different from the one already selected by the user. In my case, it is in dollar equivalent as dollars is the default currency for my site. So, the guest clearly understands that this price is converted only to show them the approximate cost in their local currency for visual effect, for customer's convenience. Well. Like I said, the guest will still pay the default currency set in your hotel booking settings. Finally, push the Book Now button. Now let's take a closer look at the email notifications. Your guests receive an email notification about a booking wherein property rates are in the default site currency. So, rates are not converted in the emails. Let's check out the invoice generated with the PDF invoice add-on on the confirmation page with the mphb underscore booking underscore confirmation shortcode. Click on View Invoice. You'll see it states the sum in the converted currency if users use these options while reserving their accommodations. It is worth mentioning that the guest can generate and save 
their invoices as many times as they need and in any currency presented on the site. Let's see how it works. All they need to do is to change the currency in the navigation menu. The page automatically reloads and you are free to generate the new invoice one more time by clicking New Invoice with the currency you've chosen. If you automatically send PDF invoices as email attachments, uh, by the way, um, for this you should copy and paste uh, the tag PDF underscore invoice into the approved booking email template. The default currency will be used in the attachment, uh, the same as in the letter I mentioned earlier. As an administrator from your dashboard, you can view customer invoices too. Uh, from the list of all bookings, uh, hover the mouse over the needed booking or by opening uh, the individual booking, you'll see the invoice document with the basic currency presented. One more example, if you use the WooCommerce add-on, the WooCommerce settings for currency will be prior. If you utilize the Payment Request add-on for setting automated balance due request, you can enable automatic reminders, or you can optionally compose a personal email to send the link manually. Your guest gets a Payment Request email, clicks the Pay Balance Now link, after this, the payment request page appears. Which currency will the guest see? Well, it depends. Uh, with the same browser session, I see the currency I've selected for my reservation, not the default one. But the user can open this link on the smartphone, for, for instance. Then they'll see the default currency. But again, it's possible to switch it with the help of the same handy tool. The payment request page also allows you to do it. With the reloaded page, you'll see the prices in the needed currency. Since our booking plugin is officially compatible with the WPML plugin, one of the most popular WordPress multilingual tools, you might ask if there is any connection between the language and currency switchers on the site. Our answer is no. Currency does not show for a specific language. The visitors of your site will select the language and currency separately. Uh, they're not interconnected or synced somehow. The currency display is not based on language or customer's location. To sum up, if your guests come to you from all over the world, it makes sense to use the multi-currency extension by Motopress to make the booking process more convenient for them. The currency add-on allows you to add unlimited currencies and set their exchange rates, as well as specify where the switcher must be displayed on your site. And here it is, ready to serve your international audience. Furthermore, the multi-currency add-on is fully optimized for working with other Motopress add-ons, such as the Hotel Booking PDF Invoices and the Hotel Booking Payment Request. When using the multi-currency add-on, keep in mind that this extension supports the display-only type of currencies. This means that it allows users to convert accommodation type prices from a default currency into a customer native currency and display it on all the site pages, including the checkout and booking confirmation pages. All transactions, however, will be processed in a default website currency regardless of the currency used by a customer to place a booking. That's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching this video. We would appreciate it if you took a moment and gave it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with someone that you know who has a property rental website and uses Motopress plugins. We will also be happy to see you as a subscriber here on the channel or to see you over in the Facebook group. I just want you to know that the support is there for you if you need it.
You can also ask questions in the comment section down below. Also remember to click on that notification bell to receive notifications of new videos being sent to you. And I can't wait to see you in the future one.